Hi guys, Morao here, aka the Lazy Makwadi, and today I'm going to be showing you another incredible, very colorful, very beautiful looking, very Instagram Buddha bowl. So let's get straight into it. So today we're using one of my favorite ancient grains. We are using the sagam grain. So you just cook it in about a cup of boiling water and then it cooks for about an hour and that's what it's going to look like. So we're going to start by heating our oil, our onion and I'm going to add my ginger and garlic. Then after about a minute or so, I'm now going to add a teaspoon of my curry powder and then now my grated carrots. And then once our carrots are nice and soft, we are going to add in our sorghum grain. Season with some salt and pepper. So now that everything's cooked, uh, we're going to allow this to cool down for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's completely cooled before we start making our sagam patties. So in here is the stuff that we cooked earlier and to this we are going to add one egg and the egg is really just to um, combine everything so that it's nicely binded and it sticks together and then we're also going to add some chopped coriander. Okay, so now that everything is nicely mixed, our coriander and our egg, it's now time to shape our sagam patties. So what I've done here is I've just greased my pan and then I'm just gonna use a spoon to sort of create our patties. And there it is, our beautiful sagam patties. And now all that's left is for us to assemble. I'm just gonna add all of these amazing ingredients. I'm gonna start with the butternut, some corn, beetroot, some avo. Our final ingredient will be the feta. I'm just gonna crumble. We're just gonna garnish with some coriander. And there it is. Your rainbow sagam Buddha bowl is done. Happy cooking.